Hey boys, Trigger Auto Painting doing a part two update vid on this 74 Dodge Dart Sport. If I mentioned before, this was a, I had a 75 was my first car, so probably one of the reasons why I'm giving the guy lots of little extra bonuses in there, other than he got referral from one of my favorite uh, customers. You guys know who you are and uh did a lot of cars for them you can see them in the vids and uh a lot of the langley car show boys and uh yeah so you can see part one before i started on this guy and uh keep in mind this isn't a uh, no budget high-end job this is uh, a budget uh job that the guy wants to go to shows and you know didn't want to have the budget for a show car so i'm gonna make it i'm gonna make it nice for him but it's not gonna be mint it's not gonna be perfect right and uh but we'll try try our best with what we've got to work with so as you can see it's been heavily sanded and you can kind of see the paint before it's got like huge bumps and divots it was just one of the worst paint jobs i've ever seen in my life and uh lots of lots of damage and dings and we did quite a bit of work there was a big stripe along there all on the hood roof sorry and uh i had to cut out the the bottom rears and make uh there was rusty in there so a lot of work in the trunk and uh this this car is going to be night and day from what it was so, like I said, we're going to try to make her pretty decent for the guy. And, uh, yeah, the jams, you can see, uh, we're, we're ready to start laying down primers and paints. And uh, we're not going to primer the whole car. There's no need. And uh, so, like, for example, if the guy was... Uh, really wanted to get it laser straight then we would primer the whole car and do rounds of uh block sanding guide coat but we're only going to do that on the affected areas and there was a lot of paint on the car so we already block sanded the waves so we got most of it out already mainly our primers for and the door jams are all prepped it's all ready to go we're gonna right now i'm going to primer the areas then I'm going to put a tape line on the bottom and uh, do an undercoat line on the bottom, what it already had. And uh, we're primering all this metal or where there's Londo. And uh, then we're going to block sand that and then we're painting. So you can see under the hood is like the original color. It's a pretty pukey color. And we've stripped all this. So we're going to bag the motor. And this is all going to be all painted and uh, you can see how rough that looks so I'll do a pictures or sorry video of after and you'll see our transformation so it should be a good one pretty pretty rough all around like not rough but when you take all the pieces together it was rough but, you know, you'd look at certain areas, you'd be like, wow, that looks clean. And then you look under it under a different light, and you're like, holy cow, look at the divots in the paint. So, yeah. So stay tuned, boys. We'll have another one coming very soon with the, uh, the painting. Because now, you know, probably today we're going to get primer and... Uh, undercoat in some areas rock garden some areas and then tomorrow we'll be painting all the jams and then you know next day we'll block sand and maybe paint the whole car or block sand and then maybe paint the next day so we're close so stay tuned boys she's gonna be a nice little transformation a car after my own heart you know so we'll try to make her look good like i said as we can with the uh with the funds that we have to work with you guys know i'm sure some of you know how cars are 
I could spend another month working on this car and you know some some guys they got lots of money so you can just keep going and going and going and going it gets crazy with the cars so yeah guys like and subscribe and if you guys want something like this then uh, message me up I'm also on Facebook trigger auto painting and uh, yeah so like and subscribe and i'll keep the good ones coming have a good long weekend boys happy canada day